what is up everyone so this week we had our event week detailed to us one of the events being three times money in rp on the deadline adversary mode so i'm here to let you all know what it is you are going to be expected to do and uh, there's some little hints that could help you in success now we'll just start off with the triple money i did one on Thursday night, it was me plus three others. One guy left halfway through, so I'm not sure if this affected the total amount at the end. But we had ten lives, ten minutes, and I came first, got getting forty thousand dollars. Now, this is not going to be a oh earn forty thousand or earn forty thousand in five minutes whatever tutorial no i'm not going to be doing any clickbait i don't do clickbait all right clickbait's not my thing i like to do professional information so this is going to involve no clickbait basically what it is so 10 minutes 40 grand depending on how much you do so total of lives um i think it goes between like i think you can have as many as you want I think there's a limit. I think it might be is either 10 or 20. I think it might be 10 because I think 20 is a bit too much. Time limit, whatever. But those are those aren't really details on what to expect. But those are kind of like little bits of information. No, what to expect? Now, first, I did let this part go out on the GTA Online update video, but I will say it again just in case you have missed it. You do use uh, Nagasaki Shitaros, aka the Tron bike. Now, last week we had the Vespucci job, and you could use a custom Vespucci, uh, custom Issy classic. The adversary mode deadline, you cannot use a custom Shitaro, so you cannot get. Don't go in thinking, or oh, I've got one fully maxed out engine brakes and all that goodness. I'll be using that, I'll be winning every, no, you don't get custom ones, you've got stock ones, just like everyone else. There is a maximum of four people, green, orange, pink, and purple. That's it. Don't. This is a four-player adversary mode, so you ain't going to have to worry about 16 people all racing around trying to kill one another. So you've got four people, no custom vehicles. Third is... All the tracks are different. There are, I want to say about four or five, maybe six, but they are all different in some ways. We have one, which is probably going to be the gameplay behind this. Um, actually, no, I don't know what the gameplay is because I did record, I thought I recorded it, but it didn't record, so we're going to have to see. However, if it is the one that I think it is going to be, it, it involved. A large squared uh, playing field, as all of them do. Uh, it had a dip in the middle where you could do some little, do little some jumps, just to either get over or get under some lines so you don't blow up. Along with two tube tunnels either side and a curved one to send you 180 degrees at both ends. These are vital to this map because if someone is coming out of one tube, guaranteed because they're lowered a bit, so there's going to be a jump to be able to get out of it, guaranteed they're going to be either going really slow or they're going to be going fast to try and avoid your lines. Now what you are going to want to do, you are going to want to get a line right up against that ramp so if they go slow, they hit it and then you want to swing it back around, do a U-turn maybe try and get an S shape in there so if they go slow they're gonna hit it if they jump they're probably not gonna have time to be able to jump over it and they're gonna hit it and you block them in that way because you cannot stop in these bikes you can only slow down because if you either stop completely by crashing into a wall or you fall off the bike by trying to do a back or a front flip to try and look cool and you fall off Boom, you're dead. That's one of the lives gone. Same with going into a wall. You stop completely. Boom, you're dead. You're gone. Life gone. You ain't getting that life back. Now, D 
these are very they're not it's not difficult you've only got one objective basically it says take out your enemies but basically if you've got if you've got a full lobby you plus three others kind of just casually drive around let the other three kill each other because at the end of the day it's not who survives like it's not who takes out who however many lives first it's whoever has the most amount of lives at the end of the timer so if you're all going around crazy yeah you might take out all three people boom instant win but you've got a timer so all you have to do is stay alive with the most amount of lives remaining say you've got eight lives left and then someone else has got six five and the other person's got one life yeah you're all still alive woohoo party happy days but you've got more lives left so therefore you win because you've got the more lives it doesn't matter on how many kills you get it's how many lives you have left you could kill the entire map like you you could get yeah, you could go through, you could have one life left and kill the entire map yeah you've won because you're the only one left standing but if you have got one life left you take down everyone else's life but one and then you die you're gonna come last because you did not survive this is a survival mode okay so you need to make sure that you are guaranteeing a win by not dying obviously you're gonna die like you I mean unless you are unless it's, you planned it with your friends and everything to go to do like 10 minutes one person wins another 10 minutes someone else wins another 10 minutes you take turns and winning fair enough I did quite well I managed to go near enough the whole round without losing a life I got a two times kill streak or someone got a two times kill streak when they killed me um, so you are gonna die but end of the day it's not about how many kills you get it's about who survives the longest the kills the lives and the kills you get is just eliminating that other person from winning first so you got last place he's out you kill someone boom he's third he's locked in third place he's not moving from that third place because he's gone it don't matter how many kills you got it's who survives the longest it's a survival mode a bit like well it's not like the survival missions but it's a bit like that it's a survival mission it's a survival mode okay you've got to survive the longest with the more lives okay as long as you've got the more lives you're fine you've won so don't worry about trying to get kills just do what I do don't keep on that accelerator I'll get to that point in a minute but just casually drive around let the other people kill each other maybe try and get the odd one or two you know dead or ha 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 kind of thing going on I mean you might just be driving around because you're not even trying and kill like you you might get four kills by not even trying because you're not stressing and concentrating on trying to win you're just casually going avoiding their lines boom but yes on to the accelerating you don't have to these bikes move on their own in this adversary mode you don't have to hold down the accelerator they go on their own obviously when not holding the accelerator they do go at a slower pace and you can use the brake to slow it down a little bit more but you hold the brakes they will not stop they might stop if you hold it down long enough but I've never done that but as far as I know they don't stop unless you crash into a wall so don't hold down the accelerator all the time because you don't need to only hold it down if you really need to now one more thing pickups on the maps there are three pickups there is a boost which will boost you and you only so if you're going around the corner you see someone on your right or the left if you boost and then kind of turn towards them a bit they're not going to be able to slow down quick enough to be able to turn they might do if they're further enough away but 90 90 percent of the time they're not going slow enough to be able to just turn second one is a jump boost now this isn't a huge jump boost but it's enough to get you over someone else's line so you boost boom 
over the line. Obviously, pay attention to where you're boosting because you might be going fast enough to be able to land and not be able to turn quick enough if they loop around and try and get into you. Because if they, because you've obviously got a mini map, you can see who's picking up what. So if you're going after someone and you think, oh, I'm going to cut in front of them, and they, and you've seen them pick up a boost, they could jump over. If you know they've got a jump boost, you just keep weaving. You just keep going until they boost, jump, and they can't correct themselves in time because they might land straight into your line. And then the third one is the sand timer, which slows everyone down. Not just you, this slows everyone. I think it would be a little OP if it slowed everyone down apart from you, but no, it slows everyone down. So everyone's going to a grind, well not a halt, but much slower. So it kind of gives you a little bit of time. I mean, you can use this to your benefit in any way. Like you could use it to correct yourself or try and take out someone else. Depends how you want to use it. But there you go. That's pretty much all there is. It's survival mode. There's pickups in it. Don't hold the accelerator. And at the end of the day, don't fully concentrate on it because that could result you into losing. And you haven't got a win by taking everyone out. You've just got a win with finishing with the most amount of lives. And at the end of the day, these type of modes, adversary modes, if you go the entire timer, like if you have it set for 10 minutes and you go for 10 minutes, you're going to get more money than if you set it for 10 minutes but finish it, finish it in 4 minutes because the match has gone on longer. So make sure you leave, it's like the stockpile adversary mode, make sure you're leaving that timer to run out. Don't try and finish before the timer, let it run out first because otherwise you're just going to be wasting your time and might as well not do it. If you want to get full payout from these missions, you've got to let that timer run out. Anyway, I will leave that with you. Let me know if this video was helpful in any way, and if it was, please do leave a like on the video. Do not forget to leave any comments on how you think Deadline is, what you think of it, what your tactics and strategies are of Deadline, of winning, or helping out other people if you're doing like a little incognito team play. Because obviously you can't do teams, but if, you've got, if you're on there with a mate and you think, right, you're this colour, you're this colour, we're going to work together, we're going to win this easy and obviously if you did go ahead and enjoy them please do subscribe we'll just like to say thanks again for being able to get us up to 1.3 thousand subscribers and if you do go ahead and enjoy then do not click forget to click the notification bell to be notified on any updates or videos i unleash onto the channel and i will see you all in the next one